So this is the Vectrex, which was an all-in-one gaming system released in 1982. And it was pretty amazing. It had a full vector display and these little overlay cards you'd stick on the screen. And I love the fact they never released Pac-Man, just a clone of Pac-Man called Clean Sweep, even though the artwork on the front of the Vectrex is pretty Pac-Man inspired. Let's fire it up and have a look. There it is. It's getting a bit old, probably needs recapping. You can hear it humming away. And this is a flash card, which means I can assemble my own stuff to it. And if you look at number one there, that's Citrix. Now, while that is kind of cool, um, this isn't exactly what I was expecting. Let me show you what I was expecting and compare the two. things were right. First of all, the tempo was correct. Um, the tuning was out. And if you listen to the sound, it has this bass, has this real uh, chorusy sort of effect to it that sounds really nice. And that's what's missing. It's the ability to get those really cool chorusy style effects. Which are really cool, powerful sounds, you know, and you've got... Some of these sounds can be incredibly powerful to use. Square waves and little arps. I've got little noise hits, noise runs. And the idea is I take these series of tests and I play them on the actual Vectrex and I see what I can and can't achieve. So for instance, this one here, it's actually using this hardware based uh, drop off and this is what I want to test in particular to see if this works when I plug it in a real cartridge Into the Vectrex and that brings us to the problem of testing on the actual Vectrex. There's a, a little bit of um, Conversion and compiling and assembler and things that goes on But the main thing that's it's quite frustrating is is the cartridge you actually have to take apart and um, Put a little SD card in it You have to run this utility that rebuilds all the menus first and then you know put the cartridge back together with the card that in it and then usually plug it in and out of the side of the Vectrex a few times to get it working. And sometimes you get lucky and other times it goes pretty crazy. So we'll see what happens. So that's just booting at the moment. Vec Multi, yeah, that's the name of the cartridge. Citrix AY Debug, that's number one. Let's run. Is not a good sign. Nah, that's the built-in game that comes with it. Ah, dear. Dun dun dun.
okay, that's supposed to have sound there. That's using the um, the hardware envelope instead of doing it manually. Yep, nothing at all. There we go. <laughs> that's supposed to have other sounds over the top of it as well. test I can basically figure out that hardware running of envelopes doesn't work which is a shame because you can do a lot of fast resetting of uh, of those hardware envelopes and get some really outrageous sounds out of this I tried a sample in there as well and that didn't work so I know you can do samples um, because of this <laughs> Your, uh, your girlfriend from sudden. Oh, that's right. I hate this thing. Ah! So that kind of proves that we can do samples on the Vectrex. And if that was in 1983, then we can definitely uh, do something hopefully a little better than that these days. That's all there to explore, though. And this is basically me just testing out what I can do with the Vectrex as far as a sound palette. And uh, hopefully there will be more options that open in the following months as I play around with it. So wish me luck. That's the Vectrex Vector Gaming System from 1982.